<laughs> Welcome back to the channel. I am Mr. Made Over. Hey, y'all. I am Mrs. Made Over. And we are back with another Made Over Foodies Review. I'm trying to tell you, this one I heard is a little hot and steamy. <laughs> so, my wife went out again. <laughs> Right, so you always at home. I because I go out during the week. So. He does. So the weekends so, are usually. I try to do a little bit, just a little bit, uh, not much. I'm safe though. No. Sanitizing, Lysol, and mask up. Mask up. So wife. What, Thanks honey? The people, what delicious things do you? Y'all, have? man. Let me t- let me tell y'all. So if you've been like following us on our podcast you know that i have multiple names <laughs> and multiple roles depending on who i'm having to i can say market market for Thank you. so i am not only you know well mrs mo on the podcast and on made over foodies but when it comes down to saturday afternoons I'm sunshine, y'all. I am sunshine, y'all, with the orange truck. And I say, it's Saturday, y'all. Come on down and meet me at 5150 Hamilton Road. She talks exactly like that. I talk just like that. When you talk like that, I just turn my head. (laughs) Because then I let my good old southern draw come right on out. Um, So... What we heard was the pit master himself over yes. at the orange truck. That's Emerald's Touch. For those of you that don't know, if you look at you ain't cooking. So he said, hey, sunshine, Mr. Mo, or just call him Mo. <laughs> I need y'all to try out this new thing that we got going on. So we love food. First of all. We adore food. We, <clears throat> we adore food. Something about so we we just it is it bring us great it brings us great fulfillment to indulge and especially when it's a new item and then we're poor. So it's kind of like don't, don't get it like you know we just out here like just grabbing food. We are not. We are literally canvassing for local businesses. Yes, who we are. are trying to you know keep their establishment running and right. shine like that. Columbus, Georgia, do have. Some great, great food. Great food. Great food. So that's pizza. But at the end of the pizza <laughs> sucks, man. <laughs> hey, if you want to fight that pizza battle, prove Let's me wrong. Go. I'm still tell yet us to a, be. Tell us a spot and we'll try it. I'm still yet to be, you know, yeah. convinced that y'all got a great pizza spot. We don't have great. Oh, if you know a pizza spot, hit us up, DM us at um, Mr. Madeover on IG mm-hmm. or drop a comment and let us know, oh, like, man. hey, we got you. We got a pizza spot we want you to try. And we're willing to travel. And we will, we will travel for it, and we will go get it, and we will try it out. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, but I was told, today, like, you know, to gather all of my, our C-Town food crew. So, um, our partner has, be, he beat me to the punch this sure morning. Did. He beat me to the punch. Um, Columbus, Georgia Eats has already tried this. First um, out the bat. First out the bat. He was the first one to try it. <laughs> I have not read his review. He just said, ooh, this is good. But I did not read the full review. <laughs> so, um, we are trying, and it does not have a name yet, y'all. The unknown. The unknown. The unknown. I haven't even looked at it. Ooh, but it's, oh, God, that smells so good. Oh, but, so, but do, then we do have an item that Columbus, Georgia eats. Boo, you didn't even get to try this one. <laughs> so, so sorry. sorry. But, um, so we are trying. We're going to partake in first. Man. After we say grace. Let's try the small piece. Let's try the small first. Okay. Go ahead and say Okay. This. Lord, thank you for this food that we're about to receive. For the nourishment of our body, please bless the hands that prepare it. Pre- prepare it in your son Jesus name we pray. Thank God. Amen. Amen. Y'all, this smells so good. Like the aroma just like this doesn't both of the items we are trying, they do not have the names. unknown the items. Unknown items. On the Emerald's on touch. the en- Emerald's Touch menu. And some people have already been asking for this thing. So would this be like the secret item? It's a secret item. A mystery. Ooh. 
the ET mystery item. Like, so sure. the first sure. item we have here. All right. Y'all, this smells so good. You want to get one? Let's show y'all. No, okay. So these right here are like mac and cheese, but not just any mac and cheese. It's Sandy mac, 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 mac and cheese. And y'all, it's dipped in that good old grandma's batter. And then it's fried, y'all. You want that to your southern bell? Um, it's fried, y'all. It's, I mean, it fried. You got a small one. You sure you want a big one? I'll get to the big one. <laughs> you want the big one? Y'all, look at that. Look at that. Did y'all see it's about that big? But look at mine, though. It's a little, you know. Ugh. But. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, that smells so good. That smells so good. Interesting. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's try it. I'm just going to eat this one. I'm going to eat, I'm gonna eat this one. All right. Moving right along. I know y'all trying to guess, like, what, what they think? What they think? Ooh, don't worry about it. Ooh. And this is another no name item right here. Wow. 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 That's all I can say. Ooh. This item has no name. No name. Look at this. All right, let's get the people what they want. Y'all, this is the Daddy Noble sausage dog that um, has been dipped in grandma's batter and- Battering things out. <laughs> they are battering some stuff out. All right, you ready? I'm gonna attack this bad boy. I'm gonna just have to hold it like this. Ready? Mm. So! <laughs> you sure you want me to go first? Because if I don't. Y'all, the I people gonna. What are they gonna say? Gonna what are they gonna say? I knew it. He couldn't do it for every. I thought he was review. a. I thought he was Call a. Call himself gentleman. a gentleman. He ain't doing nothing. My mama ain't raised him. <laughs> My mama out of this. <laughs> Stupid. So, y'all, okay, I'm gonna start with the. <coughs> no dabbing on here. I was coughing. If I cough on you, then they're gonna say, Is she got the corona over there? No, I, what? I don't. We infected in love. <laughs> we, 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 we quarantining together. Um, Y'all. So I'm gonna start with the 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 unknown mac which and cheese. One? I say which one? <laughs> the unknown item number one, which was the 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 batter dipped mac and cheese. That was a different flavor on that batter. Mm. I can't even tell you what it reminds me of because it has a little sweet. What? Why you look like that? <sighs> Working on my camera, looking. Oh, <laughs> funnel cake. It wasn't like that kind of sweet. Um, but it was so good. It was so light. It wasn't too much. It was more Mac to the batter. Mm. And I think that's what I liked about that. Like the Mac and cheese, Sandy Mac always is good there. I mean, it's, it's always good anyway. Yeah. So I think this was a level up. This was a step up. So what can we do to just, you know, give the people a little bit something new. They already like the Mac and cheese, but how, what they want. but how can we, how can we add a twist to this and then, you know, just give them something different? So that to me was very different because I've had my mac and cheese bites before and it's been rolled in like a crusting and then deep fried. Gotcha. So it's like a thicker crusting rolled around deep fried. It's good. The batter, like the grandma's chicken is, is very good. And so to have that batter on a mac, I was thinking like, I'm thinking like it might be too much batter. That's what I was thinking when I first thought it, when I first saw it. And I was mm -hmm. like, ooh, that might be too much batter. But to see that it was like a lot of mac and cheese dipped in the batter, I wanna know how she did it. She not gonna tell you. She not gonna tell me. But it was very um, light and airy for the mac and cheese. So even though it was mac and cheese, it wasn't heavy. Now, this dog, I already like the sausage. I just like the sausage in general. And then I love the sausage dog. So, and I've had it several ways. I've even created. <laughs> 
some stuff. The ultimate dog. Yeah, the ultimate dog is is my favorite. Yeah. Um, and so to have it like I didn't know what to think <laughs> at first when I saw it, and I'm thinking a deep fried bun. Who deep fries but anybody any do you know anybody that deep fried bun? I think anybody who deep fried a Oreo can deep fry a bun. Right, but I don't know of anybody that has deep fried a bun. I don't know, honestly. I haven't seen a deep this fried bun. If you've thing. seen a, yeah, if you've seen a deep fried bun, let us know. But this is my first time seeing a deep fried bun. And so the crust on that bun, like the extra like batter. It made that bun real good. Like I could just eat. That's like this would be like an alternative to like some type of sweet treat. Because mm. I could just eat that and yeah, just the bread be good. But wow. to have a sausage on top of it and then that even had a little the batter on there. Very unique, very different, very mysterious. Because we well, said a mystery no item. That's why it has no name. And um, I was pleased at how it, how it turned out. Yeah. Because I was trying to figure out how, how are you going to get the batter to stick to the sausage. Well, I'm going to let y'all know that there's some batter stuck to the sausage. Ugh. And so I'm assuming. I wonder, did she dip, did she dip the whole thing in there? I think we'll have to roll up on them and find and out. And we're going to have to find out. they're willing to give away these. How they dip this bun. Because... I don't, it's quite interesting. I don't understand how she dipped the unless she had to dip the whole thing because that's the only way the sausage can stay inside the bun. That's my that's my take on it. But I'm not right. I'm not the cook. But yeah, your turn. All right, let me give y'all the straight to the point version. <laughs> Listen. So what you trying to say, long winded? Yeah, it's be bad. Mm, sorry, my bad. It's all right. That's why I love you for your detail. Um, the Mac mystery. <laughs> Mig mastery, Mac um, mastery, Mac, Mac, Mac mysterious. First of all, the mac and cheese is good by itself. Yeah. First and first, first and foremost, um, to throw the batter on there, I was thinking to myself, <laughs> will it, will it lose its cheese? Oh yeah. You know, will it, will it lose the the, the sensation of those cheese blends? Oh, but after biting into it, I said, wow, <laughs> it gave it such a, I mean, because a lot of times when you get that crunch, mm -hmm. you don't look for a crunch with flavor. A lot of people right. give you crunch, but they don't give you a crunch with flavor. Right. So you got the crunch that has the flavor, I mean, the batter mm -hmm. has the flavor. Mm -hmm. And also you still have that, that foundation of what the Sandy Mac is really, truly about. Right. So to combine those together, that's literally like, yo, I'm talking about grab and go. That's your new popcorn right there. Right there. That's and you don't popcorn. need a lot of them. And you don't need a lot. You don't. I mean, I would take a lot, but you don't need a lot. But, but you don't need. <laughs> <laughs> but definitely awesome combination. Um, uh, the 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 sauce and the sausage dog. Being that the sausage dog is not, it doesn't have a kick to it. Doesn't have a spice to it. But it had like the sausage dog has a great, nice little uh seasoning. Yeah. Now putting the batter over top of it with I mean with the bun, that bun gives it such a nice heat, but not an unbearable heat. It's more like a heat like I'm here, yeah. but I'm only staying for a little bit. I think that's what I tasted. The yeah, I had it's there. some nice little heat off of that. Yeah. And um And it's that it's the batter yeah. from the yeah. Which is awesome. Um yeah. whatever you guys doing over there at the Emeralds Touch, keep it up. Hey, we didn't even gave them like a number, man. Hold up. I know. But oh, I was like. Can I give some encouraging words? Jeez. Yes. Oh, I got the best. All right. What's your score? <sighs> On both items. Five all day. Five all day. I like that batter on that mac and cheese and that sausage dough. Hey. All right. I'm just going to oh. keep it simple. <laughs> but if I was not, if I was simple, then they would be like, "What's wrong with her today?" 
Good thing I don't care what people think. So I'm going to give them a five all day too, due hey. to the fact of creativity. There, yeah. Man, that's outside of the box. Yeah. This is a uh, because when you when you think you have their menu down pack, they keep coming with something, it's something else. different, right? And that's one thing uh, a lot of restaurants need to understand is yeah. being that we in a pandemic. Doesn't mean you gotta be boxed. You gotta in. be, yeah. And have this, the this same is the time stuff. to be creative. Like right. this is that time to to really put forth right. a lot of effort and a lot of things into what your business is doing. And this shows great passion right here. And I think that you know that's the one thing about them is it's always something being created. Yeah. And so it's it's barbecue, but then it's barbecue with a twist. Yeah. So I think that's what you know. Even though I'm sunshine and I, I know the food is good, you just sometimes people still have a hit or a miss. So, you know, but this goes to show that they are, I guess you could say, uh, confident enough to say, hey, we want you and your local foodies to come out yeah. and try this. It's good to reach um, out like that. And so reaching out and then like I said, you know, I'm Sunshine, so they know we're a part of a food crew and they know we give honest food reviews, but then they know we're bar part of a bigger group. Um, and that's how we I mean that's we all have the common goal is just letting people know about the good food that's here in Columbus. Yeah. So whether you're a mom and pop place, whether you're a chain restaurant and you're trying to, you know, do some new things or you're doing new things, yeah. but you're trying to get it to sell on the menu, um, I say a great way to do that is reaching out to um the c-town food crew um we are here for you we're here and now we'll try it now. make sure your food is good yeah make sure it's good don't it, reach out and your food ain't good and, and i smell food so make sure at least have some type of good aroma. i'm saying it, it's good you know to have your food reviews on this channel and on our other part but of this we channel. Just, yeah but i'm trying to tell you we're honest make sure you have the part we honest yeah we we <laughs> and don't get offended if i don't give you a five right and if we don't give a five, we have, I mean, we'll, we will we will say why. Opinion. That's our opinion. That's just us. But somebody yeah. else may say, oh, five. But we, you know, us foodies, we talk and we say what's good and Ooh. we have different taste buds. That's so that's the, that's the thing. So Columbus Georgia eats, even though, you know, yeah. you beat us to it. Mm -hmm. We had that special treat that you did. I'm like a rubber than she is. I am. I sure am. Because mm -hmm. he, he rubbed it in. He posted at the truck it before we. It is what it is. <laughs> Well, that concludes this video so we can get it out so you guys can go to the Emerald's Touch. Yes, Fridays and Saturdays. Every um, Friday. Every and Saturday. Friday and Saturday from 11 a.m. to sell out. Sell out or 4 p.m. Yeah. So. And, and if you follow them um, on Facebook or Instagram, make sure you listen out because sometimes there are deals that yeah. pop up too. So I you think can like get today was what free, free sausage, sausage dogs. dogs today. Mm -hmm. um, really trying, they really strive and giving back to the community. the community. Yeah, sometimes it's free sausage. Well, today was the first sausage job, but sometimes it's ten percent off if you see the pitmaster yeah. himself, or if you see me if you say a certain word. Yeah, if you say a certain word or you ask for a certain individual, you get percentage off. So yeah. that's always. And, um, and it's always a good ten percent off for the uh, vets. The vet, okay. Those who are on the front line for the most part. Okay. Officers and firefighters, first responders, like mm -hmm. it, they take care and look out for those who take care of us. Yeah. So we are guys the made over foodies with the C Town Food Crew, and like this is where we say keep God first. <laughs> And the, the rest, rest will, will be, be added. added. And remember, it's, it's for all the for love the love of food. Of food. And we out. We out.